Hello, this is the evaluation for the research in my final major project. So, I started off with radio show analysis. It gave me an idea of what a professional radio show included and it let me explore genres of radio shows. Uh, specifically, uh, the analysis of a lame page on Sunday helped because it didn't follow the same genre as my. Uh, sorry, it followed the same genre as my radio show, which gave me a bit of a guideline to follow. Uh, I believe these are important when creating this because it gives me a bit of a you know feel for what I'm going to create. It also let me explore engagement, like uh, sorry, engagement with the show, which is something that a lot of radio shows include, but I didn't know how to include it. That means, you know, like getting people to email into the show, ring into the show, text into the show. Uh, and also gave me some more, like, you know, common features that make up a radio show. That, you know, are across most of them. You'd see them on the BBC, you'd see them on Heart, you'd see them on Capital. Uh, then it also, yeah, altogether, I believe that fully, you know, improved my research skills. Because I had to, like, analyse a specific radio show and look deeply into the content. It helped me with my final major project. Uh, because I, I had something to base, like, the uh, radio show off. Instead of, you know, making it up out of mind. I've got other radio shows to revert back to, to be like, this is what they've done. This is what I can do. It's different, but it still follows the same kind of rules. But this, talk about that, this did help me create a list of codes and conventions of a radio show. This uh, codes and conventions list acts as a guideline that I need to follow to create a successful radio show. But uh, these are all made out of the information I gathered from listening to these radio shows. Because you, you know, I've got the information from the uh, features that are most common. You know, uh, like people messaging in, having a jingle, having a music bed, box pops before uh, interviews. They're all like simple and common uh, factors in a radio show that I would need to include. But yeah, uh, again, it links back to improving my research and analysis skills because I had to find this information myself. I didn't, you know, do what I did next, my secondary research. I went and listened to two hours worth of each show, wrote down what I heard, and then evaluated on that. But after that, I did do some secondary research, which is, well, me going on online, finding information, and evaluating it. Because I've, I found all these from different websites and evaluated it, cause it and it, you know, I feel like it improved my research and evaluation skills. Since these have been put into place, finding the relevant information and evaluating it for my own radio show. So, let's say one of the information says address address the audience at all times as one person, then I would say, uh, in my radio show, I would address the audience at all times uh, using the words like you, uh, like direct address. I say something a bit you know more put together than that, <laughs> and then uh, continuing uh, after the secondary research. It led me to create my audience questionnaire. So uh, I set out. I set after making this audience questionnaire, I sent out the questionnaire to the uh, audience, the target audience, which is, you know, something I found from what well, got a slight idea of when I was to Wayne Page's show because she does it like for an, an older audience that enjoy musicals. I'm trying to do it for younger, so I kind of mixed around a bit with that. So, but then I sent that out. Uh, got the audience to send back. It's like, what songs do you like to hear in music? Uh, radio show about musicals. How long would you like it to be? Uh, what contents would you like it to include? And yeah, when I got that, uh, when I got responses, I used my evaluation skills again to evaluate the results and what I would do for my radio show. So practically, what I did for the secondary research, just a bit different. After that, uh, I, I, you know, it, also, it just helped me to understand the demographic and target audience and my target audience and what they would like to see. As well as that, uh, I also had the audience questionnaire. So the I also had the focus group, uh, which, you know, I had got four different people who were around the age of my demographic, who were also fans of musical theatre, which is good for my, you know, genre of radio show, kind of mixing both my demographic and my genre, putting them together to make my target audience. Uh, and I gave them stuff like examples of jingles, examples of introductions, so they could tell me what they like most. I asked them questions about what they want to see in the show. And uh, you know, I believe altogether that improved my research skills due to conducting the focus group to research my target audience, which were the four people that were sitting beside me in this very cramped room. <laughs> After that, uh, I, th I believe that completely like improved uh, my uh, my evaluation skills throughout this project. I just think that's one of the main things that I think uh, did it. 
So then later on in this project, I researched some of the musicals I was planning to use in my radio show. Not all these musicals were used. Uh, there were some I did. I, it was just like the basic research of like, okay, this is what I'd like to have in it. It's probably not going to be in it, or might be in it. And this is a bit of information about them. So if I do use it, I've got this information. Uh, then I also after that, uh, yeah, it improved my secondary research skills because I found them from online sources. Uh, then I looked at my, you know, uh, at the radio uh, figures to prove that I'm creating a relevant media product. Because a lot of people would say radio is outdated now, which is not. If you look at the figures, uh, that you know, the figures are almost higher than ever for the past few years. People are enjoying radio, which is why it was a relevant media product to make. Uh, but yeah, that was all the research I included. But altogether, I think my research was effective. Uh, it was successful, and led to me being able to create a professional sounding radio show.